What is up, peeps? This is for the win TCG, and let's welcome you back to another YouTube video. Did I scare you there? Hopefully, I did. <laughs> anyway, um, today we're going to be looking at Rayquaza GX. This is a pretty decent deck, and I know I did look at Rayquaza uh, last week with Electrode, um, but I did make the question in that video, can Rayquaza hold its own? And that's what we're going to be asking today with this particular deck list. I think it's pretty well constructed and pretty decently um, up to date is the term I would use. We even have the Dene GX, which by the way, I got so lucky opening my first pack. That was the very card I pulled in my first Unbroken Bonds pack, but... Um, yeah, let's just jump into this video. This deck is rapid, and uh, that's kind of why I want to show it to you today. I've been working on it a little bit, and it's been working out pretty well. We came this close, or I came this close to uh, just destroying a Reshirad Zek. Reshirad Zek? What world am I in? <laughs> a Reshirad deck um, uh, with this deck. So um, it can definitely stand up to the top tier um, right now in the current format and i think it really works well with the uh the format that we're in and we have mew in here of course to deal with pika rom um so there are a few unbroken bond stuff in here but i haven't had enough um packs yet to be able to fully um construct a brand new list from unbroken bonds which i know there are quite a few considering this is one of the biggest sets and best sets ever um so there's so many stuff i want to look into or so much stuff if I can speak English, um, that I want to look into with Unbroken Bonds, but I just haven't had the um, the funds to get a bunch of packs and a bunch of codes yet. Um, so unfortunately, I just have to, you know, give it a bit of time. I'll kind of play the game a lot and develop a lot of packs through time and then slowly um, get things going or at least go for trades and stuff. That's usually how I work with it anyway. So I do usually tend to get stuff out pretty quickly, not as quick as most YouTubers, obviously. Um, but I am prioritizing getting a lot of these new Unbroken Bonds cards, even if it means trading some stuff away so there will be some unbroken bonds list coming out soon but right now um i think what's the priority is um obviously just a day to day life <laughs> but with that said this deck is absolutely crazy um and I've, i'm hoping i can show you here what exactly i mean so um the idea is to just get as much energy out as possible turn one um, or turn two effectively, I guess you can use your own um, understanding of that. I kind of really want to risk it with a Marshadow here. So um, the reason why I actually got rid of both of those lightning energies, you might wonder, is not for the Rayquaza mill, but is for Tapu Koko Prism Star, which hopefully we don't mill away here. It's risky. But if we get to use Tapu Koko Prism Star, we can <laughs> just charge up some rays like it is nothing um, pretty quickly. And you're about to see it happen if we do pull... A lily off of this Marshadow. Um, so yeah, as I was describing a second ago, this is kind of up to date. Oh yeah, we're going to have some fun here. Okay, we're going to do Dene. We're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. You're going to see this happen. It's going to happen, all right? Um, okay, I don't know if I should have played that switch, actually. Oh well, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. Come on. Hit me with the Coco. Hit me with the Coco. Okay, there's ever... Or okay, I think we have the Coco. All right, I'm going to Ultra Ball the way... I actually might eligible the way these energies um, because the wishful baton is critical. I'm gonna need the energy switch to attack this turn. I'm gonna and I'm gonna need the zero aura. So, oh my god, this is just stupid. So this is why I wanted to show you the deck. It's rapid. It's very very powerful, and uh, I am already in love with this. And I've won so many games with this deck recently that I just needed to show you it. So we are just gonna accelerate to the Denny there. Um, throw that here. Get you there. Get off energy off the Dene. And actually, no, I kind of want to get it off the Rayquaza. Okay, we'll get it off the Dene because we, we are going to need to attack with the Rayquaza. So here we are. Turn, was that turn one? Hitting 150 damage? Yeah, that's exactly what I love about this deck. It is just chewing through um, the deck on the first turn and smacking everything, <laughs> which is great. We have the free retreat available for Zero Aura GX. Um, the Mew is down to counter a Pika Rom. Obviously, it's not um, the case where we need it here, but we did start it. Marshadow limiting them on turn one. This is the ideal turn for this deck, and it's not that hard to achieve, actually, with the way it's been built. So, yeah, I'm in love with this deck, and I really wanted to show you to it, hence why I'm uploading it so soon after doing a Rayquaza GX video. Also, huge shout out to Sombra Curse, um, who did provide me with this Zebra Aura GX. Um, I was in a bit of panic. I was going to upload this video and start recording. 
or the other way around, should I say, you can't upload and then record. Anyway, sidetracking. Um, I, yeah, kind of panicked thinking, oh my God, I need a Zebra or a GX. I just couldn't find one on a trade. I didn't have the funds to get the code to be able to trade for one. Um, so I just left a, um, an announcement on my Discord server just asking if anyone can help out. And she came literally right away and said she would offer to donate it to me for the video. So yeah, huge shout out to her for helping out. I'll leave her link in the description down below if you want to check her out. She makes pretty much the same content as me, um, but on Twitch. And she does stream it. So if you do want to check her out, go ahead. She's down there below. Um, I think I'm just going to attack this turn. Yeah, just 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 go in. And also a shout out to um, Hadi, H-A-D-I-190, as well over on my Discord, who did come back pretty quickly as well um, in regards to that. So shout out to you for also uh, wanting to help out. I really do appreciate it. And it really does allow me to get these videos out. So yeah, thank you so much for that. I genuinely appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so I'm just super excited to bring this deck out um, and <laughs> it's fun. It's fun and it's just crazy and wacky. So we've managed to smash through that deck there. It is a Charizard deck, so it's obviously not the top, the biggest top tier deck there is. I kind of want to come up against a Reshiraad and see, but we are on a free win streak. So we should hopefully, given the cards we're playing as well, hopefully come up against a, a, a good deck. Um, what is that? <laughs> I saw a bunch of everything there. Now I'm kind of intrigued, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um... So yeah, I'm genuinely uh, liking this deck. I think a, a pretty cool inclusion as well is uh, Zapdos, which is something I didn't really think about including in the deck. But I wanted a non-GX attacker that is going to be pretty fun to work with um, and can utilize the energy correctly. And I thought Zapdos seems pretty decent, right? If you do a lot of poke damage in the early game of Rayquaza and if you don't get lucky enough to set up as well as you do sometimes, then Zapdos can uh, do a pretty good job in the late game of coming in and uh, kind of sweeping up um, if you do... Well, not mill away Olivia Guzmas. <laughs> but uh, we do play switches in here as well to fully utilize that. So that's also a pretty cool thing. Ew! Okay, good news. We don't need to aim for such a high number. Bad news is lost much. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, let's just um, get a Rayquaza down right away. Oh my god, we've priced two Rayquazas. You're having a laugh. Stop it. Oh, stop it. Don't do that to me. Oh, yikes. Okay. Um, we are going to energy switch to the active. And we are going to do that and then Cynthia. Not the best turn, but if we manage to get a Dedene or something as well, which we do, we can... Oh, yeah, we can have fun. All right, we're going to have fun here. All right, let's attach here. Let's get another ray down. Oh, we don't have any other ray. <laughs> All right. Um, let's just get rid of the Marshadow. Just thin the deck down. I'm not really going to be looking to use that this game, to be honest. This deck was pretty good at just doing its own thing. Uh, that's kind of a bummer, actually. We can Coco, though. Um, so I don't see why not. Let's Coco here. And we could also get... Um, oh, we can march out with the Rescue Stretch, can't we? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can. Oh, my God. It's not really necessary to march out here. But I think we should, just to see if we can pull some energy switches or something. Because we play four energy switch. Energy switch is so good in this deck. Um, it allows you to just utilize your other attackers well, like um, briefly described, uh, what, like what I briefly described earlier, that being Zapdos. Um, okay, we actually get a switch, but I don't think we can attach return. So next time we can definitely go in. Um, but I'm kind of contemplating using Zeb Striker as an attacker as well. Now, we only play a 1-1 line of Zeb Striker because it's not so important, but it's just that little bit of boost you might need in the game if you do prize the Dene or something down that line. It's just an alternative um, to that. And uh, yeah, so um, this deck is just crazy rapid. I'm super excited to show it off to you guys. Um, with that said, um, I still am keeping in mind the other rogue decks that I'm building, and I really want to build some Unbroken Bond stuff. It's going to be so fun just to explore the new stuff. Like, I'm really excited about that new stadium. I forgot what it's called. Is it something? Plant? Is it Power Plant? I'm not, not entering certain, but it shuts off GX abilities. I'm just thinking to myself, oh, you could imagine a deck um, that's non-GX that plays, uh, has, like, no abilities. So it shuts off your opponent's GX abilities. It plays Green's, is it Expedition? Is that what it's called? No, that's not us underground expedition. Exploration, I think. Uh, and then you have Poke Gears and Jirachis. Oh, wait, that wouldn't make sense because you're playing no abilities. Okay, scrap that. <laughs> so you're playing a deck that plays Jirachis, has Poke Gears, um, has that GX um, shut off 
Stadium, Ability Shut Off Stadium, Shrine. There's a potential for some just top tier rogue deck right now with Unbroken Bond, with Unbroken Bonds, and I'm so excited to just explore and kind of dig into that um, and get some lists out as well. So yeah, super excited. Um, not sure if I'll be going into or doing any videos, particularly on the top tier ones, so like Reshiraad and stuff. I'm not really digging the hype behind it. Yeah, it's a fantastic deck. And don't get me wrong, it is pretty much the best deck in the format, period. It can wreck Picarom as well. Um, but my interest, as you can probably tell by the channel, um, is more in the lines of those tier two rogue decks effectively because that's what i find most exciting there's so many combinations and there's so much fun and love that goes into the decks that um i don't think it can, can be topped anyway enough chit chat let's just let's just start taking ko's before they start doing it first which they are slowly getting towards so let's just start chomping through um and we'll see how this goes for now now i'm not sure to be fair i haven't played lost march in a while um, not since his first release and I kind of have described it and still to this day would describe it as kind of like an automatic deck Like it's just one strategy, right? You just get everything out you floral path to the sky and then you attack 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 attack, right? That's the idea of the deck anyway um, Which I don't find too partic particularly exciting um, But I'm not sure if this deck any pl plays any sort of stadiums at all Not that it would need to but I'm pretty sure it'd be good to play that new I'm going to call it Power Plant. I could be so wrong, so please don't don't kill me <laughs> for that. Um, that would be a pretty cool card here. Because you don't really need to play Shrine in this deck, considering it's a big one-shotting deck. But um, I think the problem with Lost March is it just isn't reaching those tag team numbers um, as quickly as you'd like. Um, and it's very hard to do it anyway. So um, it's usually a deck that can just lose pretty quickly to tag team GXs. Um, which is why I don't think uh, Lost March is going to go too far. But hey, I could be wrong. It is still a good deck nonetheless. Anyway, I kind of want to get an energy here to discard. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. All right, I don't even think I'm going to get anything here. Uh, oh, it would be good to get Zebra Aura. That would be so good. Mm. See, this is why we need some energy switches because I'd really like to get a Zapdos or something. Oh. I guess we can get some striker, right? That's a bit of a no-brainer, actually. What am I doing? Do we... Okay, I think we can discard this ray pretty confident. Oh, no, we can't, though. I'm trying to think. Because if we discard this ray, we might actually run out of attackers. But then I kind of want to tap this up striker, considering we hit this for weakness, and we're one-shotting that anyway. All right, let's 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 do that. I want to get Azura Aura down, so... It's really what I want. Okay, we can get Azura... We can Guzma... We can Guzma. We can get Zap. No. I was thinking we could Zap Dose and then Energy Switch and Guzma, but we can't do that. Um, I think the Pokemon we want to take out is this Jump Off anyway, so I don't think Guzma's that effective. Do we do we just hold this hand? Because we're going to wish for Baton to the Rayquaza unless they feel blow it. That would be a bummer. Um, I think we're fine just to attack. Actually, tell a lie. I don't know if I'll actually... Okay, I think we're attacking. I don't know if I wish for Baton to this Rayquaza or if I'll do it to the Zip Striker. Because we need to be careful here. We really do. Uh, with our attackers. So I think going to the Zeb Striker might be the play to make. Now that I think about it. Um, considering this is probably going to be going down this turn. That's what I'm thinking at the very least. Yeah. And then if we, as so long as we find a Zapdos. Now, Zapdos doesn't hit for weakness, but we are still one-shotting so long as we meet its condition. So, I think it's still a valuable card nonetheless. Yeah. So, I think we should try and get Zapdos out next turn. So, when there's a Striker goes down, if we have a Zebra Aura down, we can just promote the Dene or whichever Pokemon has the Lightning Energy, depending on how we use our Energy Switches at the time. Um, oh, we also have Energy Spinner, which is pretty good as well um, if we do get the free energy out because it allows us to go ahead and discard energy to use on the Rayquaza. Um, and it's also a pretty good uh, nifty tool that we could use to just get energy out um, in and into play. One thing that really did work with this deck was um, Viridian Forest, and I did play Viridian Forest initially with it. Um, but then 
because she was able to discard energy, grab energy, just get a ton of energy into play quickly, right? Um, but when I played that Reshid Rod and I was 10 damage off, one hit KOing that thing <laughs> because it added up to 260, I was like, nope, Devoured Field. We're getting Devoured Field in now <laughs> because if we ever get to the point where, and it's quite... Uh, I'd say easy, but it is achievable, should I say, to the point where we are hitting 260. If this card is the card that we need to one-hit a Resha Rod, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take that over a Viridian Forest. So I kind of accommodated that with Energy Spinner. Um, that was the thought process behind that anyway. So I might as well get all free energy on just in case we need to retreat, right? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, actually, no, what I might do is energy switch onto the Rayquaza just in case we need to attack with it. Or we can get a Zapdos down. Actually, no, no. Our energy switch to Rayquaza. We have energy spinner, so we can grab the Zapdos. Oh, well. That's already sorted out for us, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's get a lightning onto the Rayquaza with the energy switch. Um, in that case, I guess we Ultra Ball the Guzma and the energy spin up because the Wishful Baton is so valuable. Oh, is it, though? We don't really need to hit that much damage. All right, let's just get rid of the Wish Rubaton and the Spinner. Let's do that, just in case we need to Guzma. I think I think we're fine in doing that, if I'm going to be honest. There we go. And then we'll get the Zapdos out so we can go for a Guzma play next turn. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll take it out. Um, so we are kind of just adapting now to playing Lost March. We just have to go through attacking uh, with non um gx attackers so we can just keep up with the price trade because i think they're in a pretty high range right now two four six eight ten twelve fourteen is that two four six eight ten no yeah they're fourteen um oh god okay now i'll do it again two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen yeah so hitting 180 they are one shotting rayquazas so we don't want to be using rayquazas um you might have to some point i mean that zaptos will go down um as well which is a bit of a worry oh i've got to think about this yeah we might have to use the ray which is a bit of a shame but we might just have to it, it depends on how on how they are with getting out their um other attackers after we take out this i mean what's their dce looking like they've only got one down so yes yeah, so there they are completely one shotting our rayquazas now so we are in the danger zone but let's uh, let's get Zero Aura down so we don't have to waste the energy. Let's do that. There we are. There we go. So we can't just retreat naturally here and just take it out. Thank the Lord. Let's do that. And what do we get from the prizes, Lily? So yeah, now we're now now it's a bit concerning. We could use the Denny GX's attack, which is 50 plus paralysis. Um, but that really doesn't have any sort of value at all. One thing I like about in this deck as well as Zero Aura is its GX attack can be actually quite useful. You can just energy switch GX, get all your energy back into play. Um, and then Rayquaza is doing deadly numbers again. I just find that kind of dope. Yeah, I think we actually might lose if we don't do something. Because they're hitting 180. And they will be hitting more now. Um, yikes. They just need the uh, Skip Plume. Which they can do. So if they get Skip Bloom out and an energy, what's their discard pile looking like? Two, yeah, they can definitely get an energy. So if they if they get a Skip Bloom out and an energy next turn, then they've pretty much got a game because we don't have any single energy attackers left. Not single, sorry, non-GX attackers left, which is a bit concerning to say the least. So let's just see how this one unfolds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see what they do as well. They might have a really tough hand, or they might just not have it and are contemplating uh, what to do. My guess is they have some options to choose from, and they're just contemplating. But, yeah, 200 damage. So they are one-shotting pretty much anything on our board. So we have to be really, quick, really, really cautious. But we do have to definitely take out this. Oh, Lily for free seems bad. Oh, don't do this. Oh, okay. We at least get to attack. <laughs> That's true. Oh, uh, we could have gone for our GX attack, but then we would have KO'd the Natu and would have lost regardless if they have it. So I think let's just go up with the Ray Ray and uh, go for a Dragon Break and just hope they don't have it. Come on, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. You ain't got it like that. You ain't got it like that. Come on. They ain't got it like that, right? 
they ain't got it. They ain't they ain't got it. They don't do it. They don't do it. They ain't got it. Right? <laughs> Please. Oh, I'm so scared. Come on. Don't leave me hanging, bro. This is the end. Come on. I'm just I'm just getting ready for him to skip bloom, jump bluff, Guzma, bang. You know that's that's what I'm that's what I'm expecting right now. Uh, but the fact that they promoted the Oranguru tells me they ain't got it. So. And the thing is, they have to... I'm sure they play some switches, right? They've got to play switches in this deck. So if they're playing switches, they just have to, like, do something crazy, you know? It'd be hilarious. I doubt they would do this, but it'd be hilarious if they just Dene, discard hand, and then just go mad. But I don't see them doing that, obviously. I think that's a bit of a crazy one. I did see a water a water Pokemon, though. I did see water. Am I am I wrong? In the in the, the deck box at the start, I did see water. So they're playing a water Pokemon, I think. So, I don't know what that is. Oh, Erica. Okay, so they ain't got Guzma. Oh, come on. Don't, 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 don't. Don't drop a switch or something. Don't do this. Listen, bro, you don't have to do this, okay? I know I, I know you're hurt, but don't do it. <laughs> don't, you, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. No. Uh-uh. You ain't got it like that. Uh, uh, I'm getting scared every time they play something from their hands now. You ain't got it like that. You ain't got it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay. It's either they're BMing me and they got it, or they're BMing me and they ain't got it. <laughs> One or the other. <laughs> oh. Oh. You ain't got it. You ain't got it. Don't don't get me excited, bro. Oh, they might be saying they might be doing what I do, where you say, well played, you're about to win. Oh, don't. Have you realized his avatar looks really concerned? Oh no, come on! No! Ah! Come on! You're breaking my heart, dude! Stop it! Stop it! Oh! Come on, man, what is this? Oh, no, they got it, haven't they? Mm hmm. Don't be BMing me, bro. Come on. If you got it, just 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 drop it. Drop the switch, dude. Throw that switch out. Throw it out. Come on. Yeah, we got it. Woohoo! All right, we got the win. GG. All right, I'm gonna BM you, even though you kind of BM me a little bit there. But I guess they didn't, because they did lost Ben, so they did look for it. Maybe I shouldn't jump to that assumption. But oh, okay, we managed to take them down. Woo! That was crazy. Okay, so two wins there. Um, we. Uh, did we come up against meta decks? I mean, Jump Up is a meta deck. Loki kind of forgot the first deck we played. <laughs> um, but with that said, that is the video. Don't ask why I called the deck Rom Trick. It was another deck I was working on and it didn't work out. So I just switched it up to this. This is the list so far. It is absolutely disgusting. It is just so turbo. Bear in mind, most of the time, you're going to be milling through like half your deck. <laughs> no, actually, no, not even half your deck. I milled through more than half the deck. There's one game where I milled on the first turn to 20. Um, and that's from 60, obviously. Well, prizes, hand, yada, yada. Point is, milled down a ton of cards. So that's probably a 30 odd cards you've milled off on the first turn there. And you did see me achieve it there uh, in the first... Oh, it was a Charizard deck we played first. <laughs> yeah. Um, you did see me go and uh, achieve 150 damage of a Rayquaza, turn one with this deck, um, and, uh, well, obviously climb up um, from there. Wish Baton is a critical card. Definitely keep that in there. Devoured Field really is important as well. I'm super happy with this list. And I think this is the best it can be for me, uh, in particular, when it comes to my playstyle. Energy spinner, energy spinner might be something you want to consider taking in and out with another card. Um, but I think it does come, become quite helpful um, in the first turn if you're going second, if that's the effect, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, or just in general, if you really need to find an energy or something. Um, but yeah, this is the list. Let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, definitely give this one a shot. It is hella fun and it is powerful. I can guarantee you that one for sure. Um, but do leave a like if you did enjoy. It, and of course, do subscribe for more. But up until tomorrow, please do take care and peace.